You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down. But I'm going to tell you something. Life's going to hit you in your mouth, and you got to do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knockdown. And I love it. Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. It was almost a 10 count. He was stumbling. They were four, three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Saved by the bell. He goes to his corner. The whole world is like, up. Oh, that's it. Once he comes back out, that's it. Mike's going to just hammer him. And exactly that. Mike Tyson came out like, I got him. I got this kid up against the rope. Listen to me, many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up. You can't give in. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to do what Buster Douglas did. Buster Douglas start fighting back. And the world was shocked. Goliath has been knocked down. What happened? And they went to Buster Douglas and they asked Buster Douglas simply like, what happened? And Buster Douglas said, listen to me, it's real simple. Before my mother died, she told the whole world that I was going to beat Mike Tyson. And two days before the fight, my mother died. Buster Douglas had, he had a decision to make. When his mother died, he could die with his mother. Or he made a decision, I can wake up and I can live for mom. And he knocked Mike Tyson out simply because his why was greater than that punch. His why was greater than defeat. His why was greater than his trial and his tribulation. And I'm telling you, if you don't know what your why is and your why isn't strong, you're going to get knocked out every single day. Some of you going to sleep and you don't deserve to be. You don't deserve rest. You lazy. You don't deserve rest. Rest is for people who work. You ain't doing nothing. Every day you chilling. You need to know your why. And my why wakes me up every single morning. At the end of your feelings is nothing. But at the end of every principle is a promise. Find a man who's diligent at what he does. And he shall stand before kings and not mean men. Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up, could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. Listen to me. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. And I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you about to quit. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. This is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow ain't no such thing as tomorrow. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? If we wanted to have it, beat your butt up and make it happen. If we wanted to have it, rise and grind. you want and you're watching me nothing else matters but when you know what you want eat why do you wake up at three because i know what i want look look, look you you eat however you want to eat you 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 do whatever you want to do right when you don't know what you want when you're not clear on what you want like you you do you get up whenever you feel like it you don't have no drive you don't have no passion and so when people ask me eat where your passion come from where your drive come from i know what i want Every single day, I wake up, boom, and I go pursue it. Every single day. Pain is going to take you to the next level. I know what you're feeling, but you got to work through it. And if you work through your pain, on the other side is a reward. Your pain ain't permanent. You can get through this. You're bigger than your pain. You're better than that. 
I've been trying to get that into your spirit. I've been trying to get you to celebrate pain. How strong are you mentally to fight through this thing? You're going to work through this. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called to be. And you're going to prove that everybody that tried to break you, you're going to prove the wrong. Everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dreams, you're going to prove all of them wrong. Anybody can be good when times are good. How good are you going to be? Because that's the test of you as a human being. Will you show up? Will you bring it? So bring it. When I look at people, I always ask the question. I say, man, tell me what Nike stands for. They said, oh, ain't that's easy. Just do it. I said, tell me what Adidas stands for. Oh, ain't that's easy, man. Impossible is nothing. I said, now tell me what you stand for. When people look at you, do they think excuses? When people look at you, do they think victory? When people look at you, do they think that's a person that's going to give me everything they got, not on some days, but on every day, and it's not going to be predicated upon if I feel like it, because I think we all know if we only worked on the days when we felt like it, none of us would get much accomplished. I'm talking about the real level of commitment. Not the commitment that falls in line if everything goes right. I'm speaking of the commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in his life. See, most people, ladies and gentlemen, are stoppable. Most people, all you have to do is tell them no. All you have to do is make it inconvenient for them. All you have to do is make it difficult for them and they're stuck. See, when you go to get your goal, don't think that all you have to do is think positive and everything's gonna work out okie dokie for you. When you go to get your goal, you are sending a telegram to Murphy's Law to visit you personally. You thought you were just going to have a dream and a goal, and you were just going to wake up and just walk into the sunset. You're like, dream, boom. It don't work like that. You have a dream, and then life pumps you. Life pumps you and say, do you really want this? you going to lose friends. Do you really want this? Do you really want this? Cousins gonna abandon you. People that you used to be like this with gonna think you bougie and don't wanna deal with you. It's a part of it, but I paid too much. If I was gonna quit, I would've quit in the abandoned building when I wanted to commit suicide and take my life. I should've quit when I heard my voice say, your mama don't want you, your daddy don't want you, take your life. I got through that, so why I'm gonna quit over F on the grave? Come on. And so I'm telling y'all, you have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for your pain. And so by being committed to everything that I started, I finished it and built a certain type of spirit. It built a certain type of mentality. It built a certain type of individual. And so now I couldn't quit even if I wanted to. I couldn't stop even if I wanted to. I had too much sweat equity in my life and everything that I was doing. You're too close to quit now. You got to take another lap. You got to take another lap. Because you never know. This might be... The one. You can't stop because you're tired. You can't stop because you got your feelings hurt. You gotta take another lap. Keep walking. 